the court case, but yeah, I understand where you're coming from. You just said it. Something got overruled or some shit, and they tried pushing terrorism or some shit, and it didn't fucking happen or something. Oh, uh, no, the charges got dropped. He, he went, yeah, okay. So you didn't like how a case got handled. So that way, that's the reason you're holding a grudge against well, somebody no, it who's, was, who's it was actually a, higher than you. It's supported. And then you feel free, the, you, and him being a trooper, another trooper, you think that you can just talk to him the way you can talk to him because you'd think that Tereni won't suspend you. I was under the impression that anyone from the UPD could suspend people if they were higher rank. No, no, no. But you see, you just condescended yourself and lied because you told me that he said that he was going to talk to your higher ups. And then you said that, oh, well, why the fuck is this LSPD lady talk calling me and not my own uh, department? No, he said he was going to talk to Toretti. So I was confused as to why LSPD was, was calling me. Yes. But I, I, I understand that anyone from a department, sergeant or above, can uh, suspend anyone from any department. Do you realize, like, even this fucking cadet, because of the way you were talking to me, a trooper, the way you were reacting, the way your, like, mannerisms, the way you talk, all of this, it builds up. And you know what it does? And it affects the fucking people around you. And that cadet had the balls to say to me, re-fucking-lax, only because of the way you were reacting towards me as well. So not only do, does your, like, actions affect you, but they also influence the people around you and the way you talk to people, the way you, like, get in a little group and start, like, doing some high school drama shit, it affects the whole PD. Because so now that cadet will also think, oh, it's okay to do it. And then she will infect someone else. And then it turns into a massive cycle of like, what the fuck is this shit? And then now me personally, bro, I don't want to deal with you ever again. And I don't know whether you like me or not, whether I like you or not. But all I know is based off that interaction and the way you acted, I don't want to fuck with you if I see you on the fucking streets and that. I don't want to be like that towards people. And that's not just me. That's any officer. Whether they're in LSPD, whether they're in the BCSO, SESO, you guys got to understand, I don't care if you're in different departments, you're still under the same PD and you got to work together. The more you start judging people and like acting like the cool kid and like trying to be like funny joke man to other people, the more people around you in different departments won't like you. And maybe you don't give a fuck, but eventually it's going to come back and bite your ass when 10, 20, 30 people are like, this guy's an arsehole. And you're happy with, when that uh, FTO told me you're an arsehole, your first response is, yeah, 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 I am, I am. You don't give a fuck for some reason. You are okay with being that guy. And not only does your actions influence yourself, it influences everyone around you, which then just turns this fucking PD into just like shit. And it's, I'm not saying you're the, oh, you're the reason this PD's going down or blah, blah, blah. I'm just saying your actions have consequences and it also influences the way that cadet spoke to me. And I think you can agree as well, is that no cadet should talk to anyone, not even an officer like that and have the balls to do that. But I know for a fact the only reason that, that cadet spoke to me like that is because of the way you were reacting and the way you were talking to me and the way you were just like your attitude, the things you were saying. Uh, and I think we can both agree on that. Hey, you got to understand that you're not only... Uh, listen, um, we're not going to sit here and just... I mean, this guy's already had like three meetings about this. I'm not going to just sit here and just like shit on this guy. Uh, yeah, hey, Jeffrey, yes. listen. Um, here's what's going to happen. All right. You're going to be suspended for 24 hours and you're going to be given 15 strike points. Uh, I'm going to talk to Toretti and send him an email and let him know what's going on. Um, if I find out you go running to Metzger or Svensson, I'm going to suspend you for 72 hours. Okay? Uh, that's number one. We're trying to go around another uh, lieutenant or command member because it's happened to me in the past. And I've learned my lesson on that one. Okay? Fair enough. That's yeah, number one. Enough. That's num number two. Uh, you need to start. Oh, you need to shit. stop having this chip on your fucking shoulder or whatever the hell it is. All right, I know you're trying to be a funny guy, and I don't know what your intentions are being in fucking PD, but you you got to treat people the way you want to be treated, man. If that's how people are treating you in in the SDSO, then so be it, man. I mean, if you're a product of your your own environment and your department, then that department is, probably isn't the right department for you. I don't know who's a fucking asshole to you. I don't know who's a douchebag to you. But you definitely shouldn't be like that to other people. And the fact that you just like how many if do you need Brian to get and, and AJ Hunter are coming to me and saying, "Oh, like, dude, this guy's a fucking asshole." Like, dude, if for you to piss these two people off, it's it takes a lot. If you want me being honest, it really genuinely takes a lot. So that means you were fucked up. And the reason why you're being suspended is not for disrespecting Trooper Hunter or Brian Knight. You're being suspended because you don't, you didn't just have one incident in the same fucking outing. You 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 had one incident. It died down, and then you doubled down on it. That died down, and then you tripled down on it. You got what I mean? Yes, sir. If anybody else would do it, they would have gotten oh, the same God, fucking I response. Oh, I can see the fucking Mesca and Owen going crazy right now. 24 hours, 15 strike points. I'm going to let Toretti know, and that's it. You can go back on duty at whenever, I don't know, fucking the tsunami fucking Sunday night. 2.40 a.m. on September 19th.
All right. I have going. Anything that's going on with this uh, uh, price suspension thing? Um, I was told that it was overturned by Toretti, and that uh, he okay. the guy isn't suspended. Okay. Do yeah. you actually know like the context though? Okay. Clexon came up to me and gave me a, a story of events that doesn't seem to sound accurate. I mean, I don't know the story of events. Okay. All right. Well, sounds good then. If you don't know, then you don't know. Yeah, I mean, I mean, I don't know. All I know is that what I heard from uh, from okay, Toretti, and that it's okay. overturned. All right. Hey, well, I don't really want to insert myself into this, but uh, he no, came I just to me asking for advice, and I didn't really know what to tell him. Okay, I got gotcha. you. All right. Okay. All right. Um, sounds good. We'll see you out there. All right. Catch you later, there, Angie. Oh, I'm up at the courthouse. Oh, oh, what's going on? Demi is probably going to be transferring to us. Uh, Crystal. 